Hey what's up guys, today in this video I'm going to show you how you can unlock abilities. This has been requested in the comments um, because I have been doing the Dishonored spell one and you have the super the slow down time one so it will just be fair to be able to unlock them in your game. So once you reach a certain point in your game you're going to want to add new abilities to your character and I'm going to show you how you can do that today. So basically um, this is just um, a way, so basically you walk over this and um, this little cube thing this can either be a potion or a trigger or whatever you can see it you cannot see it or you can implement something else but this is just going to give you the base idea so you walk over it you collect it it disappears and now you can actually teleport or um, I fell down so you get the idea um, before I I can't do anything I click QE but once I collect it I can walk around and teleport like in uh, Dishonored. So again, the um, uh, the link for this spell will be in the description, so you don't have to worry. And the other ability um, is the slowing down time one. When you walk over it, you can slow down time. And uh, here it is. It's pretty cool. So uh, I'll just show you a way for both of these. Um, we have two scripts. We have the, the, the spell ones, which are different videos, and we have the lockability ones. So here, we have a public bool, which is the Sonnet spell, and public bool slow down time spell. These are the bools that um, you you check the, in the inspector, and depending which bool you checked, that ability you're going to get. So this just checks if the thing that collided is the player. If it is the player, it checks if it the bool of the Dishonored spell is. If it is... It's gonna go game object dot find with tag player dot get component dishonored spell enable true so it's gonna get the component the dishonored spell uh, ability and it's gonna uh, enable it and after that it's gonna destroy the game object same for the slow down time it's gonna check the it's gonna find the player it's gonna get the component of the slow down time spell it's gonna enable it and it's gonna destroy the object later so to make this work you're gonna want to go to your player you're gonna wanna make him a uh, tag be tagged player. And you're gonna wanna um, add the two spells, but you're gonna wanna disable them so you don't have them at the start. But because uh, in game when you collect this, this is gonna be ticked on and it's gonna be enabled. Now you add a game object or a or a potion or whatever model you have. I'm just using these cubes because I don't have a game object for that. And once you have them you uh, add the unlock ability spell to them, the, the script, sorry, and uh, you take the spell that you want. So you can take both of them if you want, but um, I it's unfair to get two spells at once, so yeah. Um, you just make them, you make the trigger that they have, uh, the collider that they have a trigger, and uh, everything works. So it's pretty neat. You, um... In this video, I mean, in the spells videos, I've, um, I think I've set the the same button for the ability to activate so I'm just gonna um, change it uh, to um, the, for example the Dishonored spell is gonna be Q and the slowdown time one is gonna be E so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if it helped you um, be sure to click the like button and subscribe for future content and uh, I'll see you next time bye